What is up, everybody? I see Mike back again, bringing you episode 10 of our Let's Play Stellaris Bikini Bottom Empire. Where we left off from episode 9 is we had just got entered in a war due to our Federation wanting to fight people. Yay. So this time, it is time for war. Oh yeah. So let's go ahead and get the ball rolling here. Not minimize the damn game, but actually hit play. Okay. So, we need to build up an army because things are going to get real serious really quick. You don't want to be caught with your pants down, that's for sure. Because it, it doesn't take much for you to get wiped out of this game. I mean, once they get a hold of a lot of your planets, Research you're pretty much complete. done for. Just got to research complete... I uh, don't need to form a federation considering I'm in one, but if I was to leave this one, I would need this later on. But I'm going to skip it for now, I think. We could do the bio lab, which will be useful when we start doing our sectors that are research focused, or we can unblock some tiles. But I'm going to go for the bio lab. Research is more important. Okay. I'm a little nervous about this war. How many armies do I have? I've got two, or one, I'm building, I think I was building them at the, the end of that last episode. So I need to build mo ships for mo problems. But I need to get some destroyer assembly yards built for any of that. I think this one needs the spaceport 4 upgrade and I'm lacking a little bit. Alright, go ahead and bump up the speed. Get, get things moving. Not fastest though, I don't want to... Usually I don't like to, to make it go too complete. quickly when I'm at war because you want to be able to react fast enough to certain things. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of land that we just grabbed. Well, not really land because there's no land in space. <laughs> well, except for on the planets. But uh, we've got a lot of area, I should say. And I like it. I like being big, if you know what I'm saying. But I need to check the tiles here. Keep up to speed on them. Also, you want to build spaceports? You want to... Like, I'm telling you guys what to do. You're watching me play. But I want to build spaceports so I can build the solar panels. Good source of power. Saves up tiles. Pretty awesome. Let's check our surface like I said I was going to do. This one's going to be done pretty soon. What are we doing on food? Plus five. Oh yeah, we're good. So I think these next ones I'm just going to add to research. So I'm just going to build science labs. So we'll do a science lab there. Although I should have done it on one of those first. That would have made a little bit more sense, complete. but it's fine. We'll make a do with it. Oh, we got a lot of upgrades here. Ah, I don't want to spend all this money on upgrades. I need to build ships. Ugh. Okay, we're just going to wait. Just want to make sure we're using our tiles. So we got here an empty one that's going to be coming pretty soon. So we'll, we'll go ahead and pop a power one there. This one's just waiting on more pop. Same there. And this one's still colonizing. Perfect. Okay, so we're doing okay. And last episode, we started taxing our sectors. So we're starting to get some really serious cash flow money. And I'm also at the max of five planets. But I don't need to sector them out. I'm going to develop these a little bit. While I can, because I don't plan on expanding, and I've got nothing else better to do with my time than to babysit these planets. Okay. How are these these upgrades doing? Destroyer's almost done. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and spam our Corvette. Actually, before I do that, whoa, 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 let's pause, and let's just make sure before I start building more that we, we already have everything that we want on them. But I think, yeah, see, I, I missed level 3 shields here. That would have been a costly mistake. And I th yep, and the combat computers. So I want the Corvettes set to defensive, so, because on this one they get plus 10 to evade and plus 10 hold points, which the hold points isn't a big deal, but I like the evasion. So our evasion is 10% right now on our Corvettes, which should be the highest of everything. We've got 7.5 for the destroyer and 2.5 for the cruiser. So now watch when I do this. We got 10% and boom, 20%. Instantly doubled. And that's exactly what I want my Corvettes to do is to be evasive. I want them to dodge all the large missiles and torpedoes. 
and I want them to be able to inflict some damage, but mainly just do keep dodging those torpedoes so they, they miss, and they're not, you know, hitting our bigger stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, and I want to do shields now. We're still good on power, so just save this one. Oh my gosh, hello. Got to do it all at once, and then hit save, Mike. Okay. I'm figuring it out. Oh, and I miss... This one's got one. I don't think we're going to be able to get away with that. We're going to need the power. Save. And... This one's good. That one's good. And it's this one that needs to be changed. Put the level threes here. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to upgrade my weapons as quickly as I've wanted to. I've really focused on other areas, so these are all level one. Uh, not that good, and I don't even have torpedoes unlocked, so in terms of weapons, I'm probably pretty low tech. But shields are high, that's good, right? You know, silver linings. And we'll do the same setup for our destroyers, because they're going to get the extra hull point, so that's, they got 600 here. Their DPS is 12, and our cruisers are 26, so I want the cruisers to get the attack bonus. We're going to do another defensive lineup here. We also want to bump up the shields. And we're low on power, so that means I need to downgrade a shield here. Probably all the way down to level 1. Yep, we're right at 0. Perfect. The next one. And, yeah, just making sure that was good. I've already checked it, but hey, check again. Why not? Minus 5 power on that one, so if I do a small there... Nope, we'll go to level 1, right at 0. Perfect. And then the last one. Let's go level 3, minus 5, so we'll do the same thing. Well, I don't think I can fit a 2 on here. Oh, I can. Oh my gosh, that worked out awesome. Okay, now the cruisers, we have not done any of those. So I don't think I want to build three of them. I'm just going to build one right now, and I wish I had some intel. See, this is where having some information... Is this this guy? Who's... Nope, that's a different one. See, I want to know what this guy's specialty is. What What is he producing? Is he producing missile ships? Is he producing... What, what has he got going on? And that would really make me focus like on what ships to produce, but I don't see... Unless this is him here... Yeah, these are, these are like AI. Man, I really wish I could get that information, but the only way I'm going to get it is if I go attack him. Which I can, and then I can tailor, but by then he's probably going to be wiped out. Um, so I'm just going to design a cruiser. I'm just going to do one for now. I'll probably come back and do another one. I'm going to make it the energy one. Um, so let's, let's do this. Do a large. And two smalls. I like it. Do the, the point defense systems here. Well, I will do them in the middle. Middle. And then I will do... Why am I putting the lasers, though? Hello. These do more damage. Okay. So that's good. I've got the point defense systems on there right now because um, I don't have anything else. Another cruiser with PD systems on there. And I'm going to go ahead and do aggressive. Upgrade all these. And then here's what I like to do. There's all the smalls and mediums, put on shields, and go large and see where we're at. And I'm at 75. Now, this is where I could probably maybe throw a armor on. And so that went... What did that do? That went from 1200... It didn't even... Did it, it didn't even increase our armor. What? Oh, I'm looking at hull points, and I'm saying armor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're looking at 21% with armor, and then if we go to shields, it goes to 600 to 900. So we're looking at a 5% increase versus a 300. That's like a third better. So the shield is a better option still for the cruiser until I get an upgraded armor. Um, but I'm at m minus 45 power, so that kind of makes me want to do this. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I've still got 15 power. That's a lot of extra power. I don't see really how it can make it work, though. Unless I move the... Do this. And I move this one to a small. But still, now I'm at minus 15. 
So if, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna leave it like, like I had it and just take the extra power. And unfortunately, that's kind of a waste, but it is what it is. And I need to call this the um, cruiser. E for energy and save it and then delete this other one so I don't get confused. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Okay, go ahead and play. Construction. And we want to start building. So let's go ahead and just two Corvettes of each class. And then I'm gonna do I need to do destroyers, but I wanna have more. So I need roughly 900. So when I get to 900, I'll do a, a run of destroyers. And then the next one, I will do the cruisers. And I'll probably do like five of those. Because we definitely need more, more military. Wow, this one isn't surveyed. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and survey that. All right. Construction complete. Looking good, looking good. Just gotta avoid an early attack for now. Leader gained a level. Construction we have an admiral, admiral, right? Yeah, okay. That's good. Make sure you always want to have leaders. Um, unfortunately, I'm only got a one star on this guy. Um, so that's not good, but it is what it is. So I just hit my six planets, so I'm going to take a hit here. So if you look, I'm losing 10% influence and 10% energy credits. I, right now, it's not really affecting me, so I'm just going to leave Research it till complete. I can really f put out a good sector. Resettlement cost, colony development speed, that could be useful, or the Biolab 2. I, I really don't really care about colony development speed right now, but... I hate to skip out on rare ones because you don't know where that tree is going to lead you. So I'm just going to take it and that that's going to bother me. So I'm just going to dismiss that construction ships. You can build in these systems here. Always could use more of everything. So he's queued up. Oh, and you've got a lot to do here. So it's going to spend a lot of our money. So we'll have to come back and get some more and these two systems aren't surveyed so I will oh he's already queued to do it you can do this one next System although it's probably complete. hostile maybe and then nothing here so the reason why I'm not sectoring is because I know I can't connect these so until I can do that um, I don't want to create like five different sectors it's just a waste but all is good in the hood Okay, let's do our destroyers now. Oh, I probably don't have quite enough. Oh, I had just enough for a round. Perfect. So now we're getting close to the 1k army size. Is this... I'm still waiting to see if I can find this dude's army. I keep saying army. I'm sorry, guys. If I say army, I'm talking about his military fleets. I know armies are planet people, but uh, to me it's armies. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll eventually get it right. But I want to know what kind of fleet he's rocking. And here it is. So let's pause this. So this is where, how you get information on, on your opponents. Whenever they, they send their fleets, you can, you can see what they're wielding. So this guy's got 700 shields and only 12% armor. So he's, he's going to be more shield focused on this one. This, was his, this is his uh, battleship, it looks like. Or, no, that's a cruiser, sorry. And then this one, why isn't it telling me? Why did it tell me this one and not this one? Has it, well, they probably haven't seen it yet. Ship details, cruiser, here we go. Okay, so here's how you can see what they're, this is what I was looking for in the first place. So he's got torpedoes and he's got kinetic. So the torpedoes, that's where point defense is defense systems come in man he is really out taking us right now four shields so we're gonna need stuff that can kill shields kill torpedoes and kill kinetic now if you specialize in one area you're screwed that's why if you have if you've been doing what i'm doing all my ships can single-handedly take out one of these and together they are, are a formidable offense against this guy so that was his destroyer classes. It looks like they're all the same. 
or no, it's cruiser. I'm sorry. And then here he's got auto cannons, the same kind of setup. So he's got torpedoes and auto cannons. And his Corvettes are torpedoes. So a lot, a lot of torpedoes, which means we need to go a little bit heavier on the point defense system side. It'll give us a little bit of an edge. So now everything I'm going to build is going to be a little bit, so I'm, like if I do another round of Corvettes, I'm going to do like a three to one ratio. So one, two, three, and then I'll just do another round of these two. And that should give me a little bit more focused on his torpedoes so they he doesn't F me. But I need to, uh, I want to slow it down, but I need to speed it up too. Want both things, can't have them. Rivalry, oh, I do need to, that reminds me. I don't, yeah, declare him a rivalry. Now, why am I doing this? Now oh, we got observation post, big whoop. The reason why I'm doing this, we're already at war with the dude. And if I declare a rival, I get an influence bonus. I think it's like, uh, yeah, 1.6. So there you go. I'm getting an extra 1.6 influence, which will kind of, negate the minus 10% I'm getting right now. I mean, I'm already at war with him. Why not? Doesn't really affect anything. He already hates me. Okay. We need to do more ship building. I do want to go ahead and merge these. We also need to keep an eye on our, our energy level here because our, our maintenance is about to shoot up on ship maintenance and keep in mind they're in orbit. So we were taking, they're not, it's not as high as what it used needs to be or what it will be. So when this, when we, you know, send them out, it's going to jump up a little bit. So you want to leave yourself some room, but I've got plus 44. I can definitely easily get up to, I would say two to three K army or fuck me military fleet. <laughs> uh, you guys are going to kill me. All right. Got another round of minerals. So I want to finish building these two Corvettes and then I'll just build the, the PD destroyer. And actually, this kind of makes me want to flip the... I haven't built any cruisers yet. So now I can flip the script here. I already have PDs here. Mm, and it, see, the, the energy does good against armor. Well, that's not my problem. I need to do good against... Um, Research complete. I need to do good, good against uh, shields, which would... I need kinetic, but I don't have any. System survey complete. So I'm gonna do explosives instead. I just not I'm not a big fan of them. Really not. But it is what it is. Alright. Gonna save that. But we have a battle plan. I'm I'm happy I got that information while I could, while I'm still building. What ends up happening is I get that information after I've like maxed out my fleet because I wasn't able to get it and then I'm like trying to build them after the fact. It's a little, little bit harder. Also, uh, I merged them. I thought I merged them. Oh, these have been building. You want to upgrade them? So anything that needs to be upgraded, they need to go ahead and upgrade. So hopefully I don't get caught doing this and get attacked. And let's do more destroyers. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Oh, they got upgraded quick. Awesome. And then how much is the cruiser? It is 671. And I think I want to build like two or three of these. The name's off. I'll have to change the name again, but... We're getting ready to attack. I'm excited. I'm excited he hasn't attacked me. That he's been sidetracked with the AI and stuff. Currently, we're winning the war. There's only been two battles. We lost one and won one. So we're, we've got a positive bonus. But usually, the AI won't do much. Like, my AI that are in my federation don't really do much until I start attacking. For some reason, they just kind of wait for your orders. I, I don't understand why. But it's, it's kind of how they how they operate. Uh, can you... Can you do this? You can. You do that then. And then you do this one. Make yourself useful. Science ship. Alright, perfect. Okay. And let's do more building. Can't quite do the cruiser. Getting close. Just gotta keep waiting, keep holding out. Not spending minerals. These are all good, they're not negative. Still not making much energy, he's getting 0.86. 
But that's okay, I've got plenty to spare, so I'll just give him 2k. Give him a thousand, make it nice and even. Uh, I would give you minerals, but that's a little bit more important for me right now. And requires a level 5 spaceport, F me. <laughs> okay, well let's do that first then. Ah, uh, that's, that's a tragedy. Oh man, well we'll just st still hold out. Should be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode right now. Leave you guys hanging for the impeding war that should happen in the next episode. And as you can see, they are sending a force of 3.7k. Hopefully not towards me. But I will see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And always don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks and I'll see you again.